Um, on my way out, I stop, thinking for a moment. I turn to Hugo. Cierra la puerta, por favor. Y hey, Hugo? Si? Sí. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back. Coco is here with Seven. We are continuing Dream Daddy. I love Craig so much. <laughs> he, he, he's a good bean. He's good! Uh, let me know if you ever want to work out again. Maybe we could try running around the neighborhood if treadmills aren't your speed. No pun intended, bro. Uh, running, running outside is so much harder because like, at least for me, because my feet are so weak and sensitive so like, <laughs> the ground hurts so much so like i get I, I get more bothered by how much my feet hurt than actually tired <laughs> meanwhile like i literally like go outside barefoot and just like witness uh, nature with my god dang unsheathed feet <laughs> like a <laughs> heathen but i don't run ever so i wouldn't know <laughs> yeah like i don't mind walking barefoot walking is but fine. running uh yeah no. You make those, like, sneakers that are like, oh, like, the barefoot technology, and I'm like, please get that away from me. <laughs> uh, good one. Well, I'm gonna go put some ice on this everything. I'll see you around. You didn't even say bye. I know, how rude. Craig, we thought oh. you were better than that. <sighs> Wait, I have to burp. It's not uh, happening. Okay. There you go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I leave the gym feeling ashamed. Craig used to order delivery from the pizza place down the street, uh, across the street rather, from our dorm, and now we can just run circles around me. Literally. Man, I really gotta work on this dad bod. I get home and lie down on the couch. It hurts to move. Oh god, I'm so old. <laughs> oh, come on, you're probably only like five years older than me. <laughs> oh, oh no, I must have fallen asleep. What time is it? <laughs> Shoot! It's 3.55! I'm supposed to be in Amanda's school in five minutes! Well, let's hope that running paid off. <laughs> it did it! <laughs> I frantically put on some clean clothes, apply a generous amount of deodorant, and run out the door. Ugh, no, it's gonna make it worse, because then it's just gonna have that mixed smell of sweat and deodorant. <laughs> <laughs> just that nice, delicious Old Spice and sweat smell. Ugh. At <laughs> least it's not Axe. At least it's not Axe. <laughs> I arrive at Amanda's school and check in at the front desk. They give me a bright orange visitor sticker and send me on my way. I remember at my school that the boys would think that they could go without showering and just spray Axe on. And I swear they had to do like some sort of dance where they just like spray it all up in the air and then like swirl around in it because I'd be walking <laughs> I'd be walking down the hallway I'd be perfectly fine and then all of a sudden <laughs> yeah, I just start oh choking <laughs> it happened, like I, I've been to two different high schools and like the first one I went to that certainly happened but the second one like I don't know I think the guys actually showered daily because like it was like a really like it wasn't like a like it wasn't a prep school but like it was basically like these kids wanted to be in private school but had to go to public school so that was like <laughs> So they were actually clean. They were still nasty, but they were actually clean most of the time. <laughs> I never smelled them, really. <laughs> I'm not one that sniffs others. <laughs> You're missing out. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about that one. <laughs> I'm barely awake and feeling pretty haggard, but hopefully nobody will notice. I check my watch and I am relieved to see that I'm only two minutes late. How close is the school to your house? Yeah. Wait. Was it room 103 or 108? I spot a youth standing at his locker and approach for him for help. I excuse me, do you know where Mr. Vega's class is? <laughs> the youth, TM, turns around and looks me up and down with heavily lined eyes. That's my son. <laughs> That's my shitty son. I, I, I like the 6-6 six, six tattoo. It, yeah, it's 666. Six, six. It's a stick and poke. <laughs> <laughs> I love Lucian. Huh. <sighs> Come on, kid. I'm late for a meeting. Mr. Who? Oh, wait, no. I should probably give him a different voice. Mr. Vega. I don't know. Have you tried the exit? Oh, <laughs> ha, 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 ha. 
Okay, wise guy, are you gonna help me or not? Uh, fine. Up those stairs and to the left. Can't miss them. Alright, you Gerard Way ripoff. Sayonara. I head up the stairs and walk around, unable to find Mr. Vegas' class anywhere. After a couple minutes of searching, I head back downstairs. That punk youth sent me on a wild goose chase! <laughs> I'm just... I'm just remembering my immortal and how the character <laughs> thought Gerard Way was so hot she wanted to be related to him. It's just that doesn't like, even make any sense! What? <laughs> Why? What? I want to read my immortal. I haven't like I usually have an annual like live stream reading of my immortal, and I haven't done it yet oh this year. Oh my god! Yes, please. I need to. Please. I need to. The, like the the first time I did it, no, maybe the second time. I think I was in like seventh or eighth grade, and I broke a vase. <laughs> <laughs> I broke a vase. I get back to where that low rent Gerard way is standing, <laughs> fully ready to give him a piece of my mind. When suddenly a head pops out of the classroom next to his locker. Oh. Uh, you do this, Dad. Mm. 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 I don't know. Mm. Lucien, don't you have a third period to get to? Honestly, the fact that Damien named his kid Lucien is like the gayest thing ever. Like, you don't just name your kid Lucien. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Fine, Mr. Vega. I guess I'll go to class. <laughs> wow! Punch him right there. <laughs> wow! Now I'm officially ten minutes late. I glare at him as he walks away. We are not cool. Um. You must be Seb. The period's almost over. Would you mind waiting in the back? No. Oh. No, I'm kind of... Mr. Vega leads me in, and I take a seat in one of the comically small student's desks in the back. I might get stuck in this. Mm. I have gotten stuck in a desk before, and I'm very tiny. Alright, where were we? Now, who can tell me about the unreliability of the narrator in J.D. Salinger's Catcher in the Rye? What is that noise? What happened to your home? <laughs> Ugh, my mom just turned on the washer and opened the door. One sec. <laughs> <laughs> who names their kid Colin? Coco's not here, but who names their kid Colin? Colin's a dumb name for a kid. Alright, back. Hi, I was talking about how Colin's a dumb name for a kid. <laughs> Colin, a dumb name, stands up and does the thing where he blows into the crook of his elbow to make a fart noise. Classy. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> the whole class erupts in laughter. Hmm. He looks so offended. I am offended. <laughs> all right, all right, everybody. Very funny, Colin. Please sit down. That's such a Colin thing to do. I know, right? <laughs> no wonder his parents named him that. Probably. Now... Holden Caulfield is an unreliable narrator in the sense that... The bell for the end of the period rings. All of the students immediately get up and make a break for the door. Oh my god, there they go. Huh? R remember to do the reading and answer the response questions on page 194 in your textbook. They ain't gonna. Nobody's listening. Hmm? Or not, I guess. There's always, like, one kid that does the homework in the class, though. I trust yeah. that kid. <laughs> Mr. Vega turns to me and sighs. Um, the, okay, this is, like, a really weird side note, but these deaths look really strange. Yeah, they don't they look seem like, like they were really finished. They seem, like, they seem like they're, like, lawn chairs, like, outdoor furniture, like, attached to a desk. <laughs> and I've never seen a classroom quite like that. I like the little banner on his desk, though. It's cute. Yeah. He, he has some festivity in him. Don't you teach high schoolers? Hmm. Both. You know. Budget cuts. Ah. Budget cuts. Right. Hmm. Thanks so much for coming in. No problem, Mr. Vega. Ah. Please, call me Hugo. Okay, you go. I don't normally do these impromptu parent-teacher meetings, but as I'm sure you know, Amanda's a very bright student, and I'm concerned about her recent behavior. Oh, I can't see the screen. <laughs> oh, you can't see it. Ah. Ah. Late. There it is. What's going on? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Appropriate. Uh, <coughs> Amanda has never been the most engaged student, but I know she cares. Recently, though, she's been falling behind. She's not completing assignments and has been doing rather poorly on tests. I normally chalk it up to senioritis, but... This is strange. I thought Amanda always shared everything with me. It hadn't even crossed my mind that something might be wrong. <gasps> no, Amanda. I just wanted to ask, is everything okay at home? I mean, she doesn't really have a bad home life. It's just me. <laughs> uh, we just moved? Well, we just moved recently, but it was only to the other side of town, and Amanda was more excited about it than I was. See if you can talk to her about it. I know she values you a great deal and would appreciate your guidance. If she keeps heading down this road... She's gonna die. Death. <laughs> I know how important art school is to her, and I would hate to see her miss out on a scholarship money that she clearly deserves. Come! I'll make sure to talk to Amanda. Thanks for letting me know, Hugo. Anytime. You can call me anytime. I'll Sorry. call you. Wow. On my way out, I stop, thinking for a moment. I turn to Hugo. Cierra la puerta, por favor. Y hey, Hugo? Si. <laughs> they ever catch that, Rai? <laughs> He's just you, you uneducated bastard. Get out of here. <laughs> Oh, I guess he kind of liked the joke. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I leave the classroom and make my way out of the school. I'm still a little bit in shock that Amanda was able to hide this so well from me. She's always been such a force for positivity in my life, especially after we lost her father. Amanda must be done with classes for the day by now. I'm sure she would appreciate a ride home. And maybe I can talk to her about what's going on. I pull up to the carpool and Amanda hops in the passenger seat. I like the little lay that's in there. What? The what what? The little lay like that's in the car. Oh. Very nice touch. So, did you have fun gossiping about me? Hell yeah. You suck, Amanda. I'm kidding. <gasps> <laughs> I hate you, Daddy. <laughs> God, this this is a really trashy car. Let's just point that out real quick. <laughs> Mr. Vega and I actually just gossiped about our celebrity crushes. Mine is Hulk Hogan. So, you talked about Mario Batali the, the whole time. Oh, that's the ultimate celebrity crush. That man can cook. I'm pretty <laughs> sure that's, that's what I'm thinking about. I was a very productive... I was a very productive meeting. It was a very productive <laughs> meeting. I'm pretty hungry. Can we grab some dinner? Yeah. Sure thing. <laughs> Uh, let's go to the mall food, co food court, because that's how you meet my base boy. <laughs> Does that sound good to you? Yeah, sure. Why the mall? Why not the mall? Jeez, can't a dad take his daughter to the mall? Will you buy me things? Amanda, I will buy you a thing. Singular. Plural. Plural. No, no, singular. Don't <laughs> trick me like that. <laughs> Sounds like a deal to me. We drive in silence for a short while. Amanda plays a game on her phone. I hope it's not Love Live. I should say something. You know, sometimes when a kid gets older, they find that they have to keep things hidden from their parents. And that's okay, because sometimes that's what kids do. Subtle. Subtle. And that's okay. But also, sometimes it's good to have the parent's perspective because, you know, maybe the parents have also dealt with similar situations. And maybe they're a little cooler than you give them credit for. Anyway, what no. I'm trying to say is that it's good to share. Love you. Have you been reading my tweets? No. <laughs> you have a Twitter? What? Uh, n never mind. Look, sweetie, Mr. Vega said you haven't been... 
participating in class and that you're not turning things in. It's the blip. It's the blip. Oh, I'm fine, Pops. Senioritis and all that. I thought you liked Mr. Vega's class. Mm. It's fine. He's fine. If you know what I'm saying. Uh, I'm into- <laughs> I meant for you. Oh. <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> we pull up to a stoplight, and I, Amanda, she's still texting. I thought she was playing Love Live. Just, I want you to know that you can talk to me about anything. Uh huh. I can tell that whatever it is, she doesn't want me to knowing about it. That's frustrating. What the hell? Uh, I heard Emma R is going to that fancy art school in California. That's exciting. It's, it's Cal Arts, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> Are you bummed that you guys aren't going to the same school? Yep. Thanks for rubbing it in, Dad. <laughs> Amanda keeps texting. She stifles a laugh. Is it a meme? What's so funny? Uh, it's the... I don't think you'd get it. It's definitely a meme. Yep. Okay. Who you texting? Noah. Who is Noah? (laughs) My friend. Does he go to your school? Why are you asking so many questions? Yeah. Do you like Noah? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, boy. (laughs) What? No. So you mean yes? Dad. So you mean yes? No. I said no. I can't believe you would. So it's yes. Dad. Yes. I mean, jeez. <laughs> she keeps going. Why would you be so right? <laughs> Ugh. Gross. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Just asking. Eyes emoji. Dad, he's just my friend. I said sorry already. <laughs> Guys and girls can be friends. He's my friend. Okay, I understand. Okay, okay. God. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> this is going well. Going great. Well, good talk. Love you, kiddo. She leans forward and turns up the radio. I guess that conversation is over. To the mall, then. Are we gonna eat them all? Yes. Nice. You arrive at the mall, a big indoor shopping center with a couple different floors. It's kind of dead, but that doesn't stop a mall security guard from yelling at a group of loitering teens. Let's eat something disgusting for dinner. Undo <laughs> all that. Uh, undo all that work we did at the gym. <laughs> work? Gym? Never heard of it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Language, Missy. Fuck yeah. <laughs> uh, heck yeah. Better. We approach the food court and evaluate our options. There's greasy restaurant after greasy restaurant. Mm. My heart burns just looking at the menus. Nobody looks happy to be here. <laughs> Not even myself. Ooh, what are you in the mood for? Bread dipped in sugar? Bread with cheese on it? Or do you just want me to inject some fat directly into your bloodstream? Hmm. I extend my hand to her. Would you do me the honor of sharing some nachos? Oh, she takes my hand with a grin. (laughs) It would make me the happiest, cheesiest girl alive. I love you. I love you. (laughs) And I miss you. And I love you. Ah! (laughs) We order a giant pile of chips and unnaturally orange cheese from a very unenthusiastic and possibly stoned teenager. We take a seat at a rickety table and dig in. (laughs) <laughs> munch munch uh, these are bad these are very bad 
but also strangely delicious. We have to eat through the pain. <laughs> we enjoy the fluorescent cheesy goodness together until we're all out of nachos. So, something's been bothering me for a while. Can you explain memes to me? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <sighs> Which meme? <laughs> all. All memes. <laughs> no. It's not happening, honey. All memes. Amanda sighs deeply and places her hands in her, her hands. Her hands. <laughs> Dad, it's complicated. See, memes are inside jokes shared by a bunch of people that get less funny the more people do it. So the problem is that by the time a meme gets to you, Dad, all of us youths have already done the joke to death. So don't, so don't. Just, just don't. So, so no, uh, it's that boy? No, ugh. Oh shit, what up? <laughs> no, Dad! Oh shit, what up, Amanda? And what's worse than that is that movies and TV and video games will try to jump in on a meme train, but just based on how long it takes to make them, the meme will be long dead by the time it comes out. So it just dates it and it isn't funny. I'm looking at you, you fucking Powerpuff Girls reboot. Oh shit, what up? <laughs> Dad, please. Anyway, changing the subject to something that's not memes. Memes. Where to now? Uh, wanna go to that goth store? What? You know, the one that's all black and tries to establish itself as anti-establishment despite being an exact representation of the establishment. Y you can say hot topic, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It, or like the one, the, the Night in the Woods version of hot topic, which is you revolution. <laughs> <laughs> And we will go ahead and end this episode right here. Thank you guys for joining us, and see you next time. Sayonara! I still can't believe I've been delaying this for so long. It makes me wonder. If I decided to act earlier, maybe things wouldn't be so broken between us. Maybe with just a little effort, this family wouldn't fall apart like this. But, I suppose it was easier to complain and do nothing, rather than to try and ch change things. Isn't it always? Tonight it's different. This is the night of change. The night where my plans finally take effect. I can hear my stepsisters talking in soft voices in the hall. I imagine they too won't get any sleep tonight. During the last few days, I've learned so much more about them. But can it erase all the years they've tormented and humiliated me? Playing Cinders is a bit like reading a book, however you are often presented with a choice on what to say, think, or do. Your decisions will shape the story ahead. Oh, so even what you think. That's interesting. Usually visual novels are just actions or responses. <laughs>